They say your husband was just getting in this thing the last time you saw him. Yes. I told him it was a bad idea with his broken arm, but he didn't want to hear it. And this toxin the cops say they found in the system, they have to say what it was? No, just that it was poison, but the poison didn't kill him. Yeah, because he froze to death first. Interesting. Hmm. Will you see something? No, it's what I don't see. That's what's interesting. I mean, look. There's no scratch marks on the door, no dents. There's no scuff marks down here. I mean, the only signs of distress are from where we popped it open with the Halligan. So you're saying he didn't try to get out? No, whatever he was dosed with, when it hit him, it hit him fast. Incapacitated him. So you're saying someone must have come in here while I was out on my run and poisoned him? No, no. Uh, my best guess is that he was poisoned 20, 30 minutes before he even got in that thing. He didn't even know he was dosed. Great. So all we've managed to do is discredit my alibi. Because the only person who was in the house with him at that time was me. Kendra, it's a big house. Somebody could have been in here and you'd never have known. Hey, these security cameras, you have them all over the property? Yes. Okay, then we need to see all the footage from that afternoon. Maybe we'll catch the real killer on his way in after you went for your run. Shh. Hear that? Brady. Oh, hey, Brady. How you doing, buddy? Anytime Brett travels, he curls up on his clothes and waits for Daddy to come home. Wonder if he knows he's never coming home. You think he wants a treat? Yeah, uh, Brett keeps him stashed all over the house. Over here, right? <sighs> of course you did. Brett, obstinate jerk. Every year I make him promise not to get me anything, and every year he breaks it. It's my birthday, Saturday.